Okay, we recently added several new items um, from D. Charles Designs, and we've had a lot of questions. So I thought I'd do a quick run through of the different products included in their 2021 product releases and let you get a look at them. All right, the new um, products we just added can be divided up into um, three basic categories. First one is your zipper pin cases. So they have four different sizes of zipper pin cases and all of their products are made with um, high quality leather paired with um, contrasting or um, matching stitching. There's options that are called, like this one's called Olive Always. And the Olive Always is um, an olive leather with olive stitching. So if you were to pick up the um, Midnight always, that would mean you would have the black leather with black stitching. But other than that, when you go to choose your item, it's gonna be, the color name is gonna be, you know, midnight for the black, um, red. So this one's a midnight red zipper case. And they all have one continuous zipper all around. Um, and it's got an easy to grab leather pull with the stitching that matches the case. Um, you'll also find the D. Charles logo right in the bottom right hand corner of your zipper pin cases. Um, and I love how the combination of the leather, the stitching, and also the contrasting leather pieces here, and actually these two both match, but most of them have a contrasting leather here, um, give you so many options to make it your own. Um, and that's not even including the in interior of the cases, which is a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you. But before I do that, I want to make sure you know the four different sizes. So the first size is the 32 zipper pin case, and we'll hold up to 32 pins. The second size is the 20 zipper pin case. Um, and then you have your 12 zipper pin and case. You have your two to three zipper pin case, or as it's called actually, um, the two pin plus ink pin case. And I'm going to do this one first just because it's interesting so you've got your zipper easy open inside you have your um this interior lining fabric is going to be different depending on the leather um and stitching combination you choose so if you choose the um this is the rawhide color of leather so rawhide um brown if you choose the rawhide brown case this is going to be the pattern and color of the lining inside and you've got your really a sturdy sturdily attached elastic loops to hold your pins and then this one is different because this is your pin and ink case let me clear this spot so in the pin and ink case i'm going to show you i grabbed a couple ink vials here so you can go ahead and add a couple ink vials of your choice these are just ink samples that we sell but any sort of small ink sample size vial will fit right in there. And then, of course, just and I kept a few pins aside here for us to use for demonstration purposes. Um, and then you add your two pins. So this is the intended, I guess, originally intended use of the case was to have two pins and then your ink files on the other side. And then when you close it, your um, ink vials are between the two pins and then you've got your pen and ink carrying case although this is the option of course to um, instead of carrying the ink you can just carry a third pin and just slide a third pin right in there instead of the ink so that's why uh, there's a little bit of confusion about this one because it's extra cool is the way I like to um, give it I love that there's an option to carry a couple small vials of ink um, but I also, I really like that they did go ahead and add the extra loop here in case I want to throw in a pin right there, or I guess I could just put my pin over here, but, um, I don't know why. I just always go ahead and put it right here with the other pins. Pins like to be friends. I don't know. That's just, I guess my subconscious wants them to be together. Go through every color combination. Um, but when you look at the website, at the product listings, when you hover your uh, cursor or your mouse over the image, it'll show you the inside of each case. So you'll get, get a glimpse of like the different linings. But this is if you order the Midnight Red. Um, so you've got your black leather and your Midnight 
um, and sorry, the black leather that is referred to as Midnight, and then your red stitching. So Midnight Red, it comes with this really soft checkered um, flannel, and it's got, this is the 20 pin case, so I'm sorry. No, this is the 12 pin case. So this is six pins on one side, six pins on the other. I'll show you how they fit, and I'll show you one of my favorite features. Um, that I'm not sure it was the way they intended it to go or not, but that's how it's going down. So you go ahead and put your pins in. So I went ahead and put my pins in, and you can see that they're just um, settled in there with plenty of room to spare. Um, none of these is oversized. I'll go ahead and throw in an oversized pin just to show you um, how that looks. This is the Conklin Giant Sequoia. Sorry, I'm trying to balance this against the tripod, so that's my awkward actions a little bit. But So you can see um, that it's, it's got good spacing. And the center insert is amazing because it's made of the really sturdy, um, oh, it's a, the heavy duty chipboard material inside there. So you can feel it and it's all, it's coated and not coated. It is, you've got your matching leather on one side and then your um, interior fabric on the other. Love. Um, they added this little pocket right here and um, I immediately was like perfect for my for my notebook I can just throw my notebook right in there that's um, amazing later I was like oh I think that was for business cards um, yeah, you can use it for your business cards or small note cards or I like to throw in a little bit of a notebook. to each his own but you've got options so uh, and this center, um, when you have, I'll show you on the next one. The inside layout is going to change a little bit depending on whether or not there's a contrasting leather here. So this one is midnight red, and this, the both the leather on this center fold, or the spine of the zipper case, and the rest of it matches. It's all black. Um, if this leather right here is going to be mimicked, it's going to be the same leather right here, obviously, because that's the same piece but it gives you kind of a cool look inside when it's a contrasting leather. So let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so we're going backwards. We went from the smallest to the biggest. So that first one was your two pin or three pin plus ink um, case. And then we jump from there to your 12 pin case. Um, and now we're gonna jump to our 20 pin case. Um, an example of the rawhide, I'm sorry, the saddle with so orange, the saddle orange. 20 zipper pin case from D. Charles Designs. Again, we've got your continuous zipper. And this one does have the contrasting leather. So you've got your saddle and then you've got your darker um, leather here. And it's actually the black. Um, so when you open up this case, you have your interior lining. And this one again is another soft, um, a flannel y feel material. And this one has the 10 pins stored um vert i mean sorry horizontally on each side you still have your center piece to um, give your um it's a great divider between your two sets of 10 pins um your center piece here on the opposite side does match the saddle orange combo and it has your um, contrasting leather creating a little pocket um now let's jump to the next one this is your 32 pin case and this is, I, I, I don't like to say I have a favorite color combination, but I, I veer towards this one, the Olive Always. I don't know if it's the name or if I just like the green on the green, but this is the green leather that they call Olive with the green stitching. Um, so if you're looking for this exact one, it's Olive Always. And it still has the D. Charles Designs logo there at the bottom. And we've been carrying these products for a few years now, I believe. The zippers all work great. I haven't run across any problems. The inside of this one is a fun camo in uh, green and blue and, and a cream color. The elastics are all the black elastic and they're all stitched in really well. I haven't had any trouble with any of those when I've been um, working with the products either. Um, the 32 pin case also has the center insert with the pocket and um, I really, I really just like the uh, attention to detail. They've got so many different options and they follow through on all of them. And I like that when you open the zipper up all the way, they lay really flat. Sometimes I do need to make sure I've got that zipper open all the way before I lay it open. 
Um, okay, let's jump to the next one. Those were the um, Detroit Designs zipper pin cases. So you've got a few options there that are really fun. Okay, the next product line they um, released is the um, D. Charles Designs pin boxes. And they also have four sizes. And you're going to have to, sorry, I meant to say in the beginning, you have to excuse my inky hands. I worked with some inks before this, but I did make sure they were clean. I just wasn't very careful. I should have had my D. Charles pin wipe on me. I didn't. I was a little bit messy today. Okay, but back to the pin boxes. Um, the largest pin box is kind of amazing. I'm going to make sure to put some images up of these um, stacked because I love how they um, create. They're just, they're almost stealthy. Like I like the idea that I can have, you know, five or six of these and just have them stacked on top of each other on my bookshelf. And it just looks classy and nice and solid. And my pins are safe and they're right there if I want them. Um, I'll show you in just a second. So this is the exterior of the box. This is the D. Charles logo. And the D. Charles logo is on the side that opens up. So you'll see this um, in indicator here. This is where the top bends because this is a magnetic closure and you open it up and that's where you access the inside of the box and this part folds down for easy access. And then um, all the pin boxes have a, the insert that just slides out. So if you want, you can remove it entirely if you'd like to go ahead and fill it with pins. And they all have the um, little elastic to hold your pins. Um, you just snug your pins up in there. I'll put a few in here. And then once you have all your pins stored, you just put it right back inside the box and close it up and set it aside. Um, or you can go ahead and access your pins just without removing the thing entirely. It's a little bit easier to put them in um, when you have it totally removed because sometimes that elastic um, looping um, you'll want to, you, you'll, you might, you might have a hard time getting it in there, although you just saw me go ahead and put it in there and it went right in, but, um, it might just be actually the first time you do it because it's a continuous piece of elastic here, which I love because that makes it, I feel like that makes it less likely to have any problems because there's less attachment points. Um, but anyway, this is the general mechanic of the pin boxes. And I love that the insert is a contrasting leather color. So this pin box is the olive gold because you've got your olive green leather with your gold stitching. So that's the olive gold um, tin pin box carrying case. Yeah, I just had to count those just to make sure I was remembering the number right. This is, there's uh, slots here for 10 pins and, um, and the insert you'll see is more of a desert um, leather color um, with the olive stitching. So they kind of coordinate it and make it fun at the same time. I love it. All right, let's check out the next size. So this is your D. Charles Designs five pin box carrying case. And this one is in um, midnight black because you've got the black leather and the black stitching. The D. Charles logo is on the center front of the flap, and the flap is just a slide-in insert here, but they're really solid. I've never had any of them, and I've been messing with these a lot, getting all the product images up and everything. Um, I haven't had any of them, like, just open, you know, this hadn't had this slide out accidentally. I haven't had that happen. Okay, um, so you, again, you have your insert here, and this one is all in um, the black leather and black stitching because this is the midnight black. Um, but if you look close, like the stitching, even when it matches, it just, they did a really good job of it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that. They also have the, t the edge right here, this curved part of the front of the inserts has a coating to protect it because, you know, it's gonna see heavy use. So that's great. And I love the finished edges. It's really quite well done. I like it a lot. Okay, let's jump to... Oh, and I also like the back of the um, cases is flat. I mean, these are no longer like stackable boxes, like the 10-pin box, um, but 
it is, you know, it's got, it's got the flat surface that I'm going to look for when I want to set this down somewhere. Um, so that's great. All right, Next sizes one. are the um, three pin case, the three pin box carrying case, and the two pin. So this is the three pin, and this one is in desert, um, this light beigey color of leather, um, and it's kind of a suede feel. This um, one is called desert, and this stitching on it is brown. So this particular pin box would be, the color name would be Desert Brown. And you've got your Detrals logo, um, and it's bossed there. I don't know if I said that, um, and I'm pretty sure that's the way. I'm suddenly having a blank of whether or not that's the right word to use for, for when you're, you have a leather um, case. But Okay, so you open up the flap, and you've got your insert. And this one does have the contrasting leather just fun. So it's got, this is a desert brown combo, and inside you've got your rawhide um, brown combo. So you can see the stitching matches the same color stitching, but they just threw in this darker um, uh, darker brown color that's called rawhide. And again, you can see that coating on the edge of the dividers to keep those from getting grunged up. Okay, and all of them still have the continuous looping to hold your pins securely. All right, and again, the flat back. So you can safely and easily just set it aside. And then this uh, two pin combo, I mean two pin box features the um, saddle brown combo with the saddle leather and the brown stitching. Nice Detroit's logo. I really like the way these are put together. They just seem like a quality product. Okay, and then this pin obviously is the same divider, but it's just got the one because you only have the two pins. It does have the contrasting um, leather color of the rawhide again, and also the actually grabbed some pretty similar products here. This also has the matching brown stitching, um, and there's the coating there and the elastic loops. I oh, know I think these are these are really well done. Okay, and the last almost the last thing I've got to show you today is the D. Charles Designs um, 4x4Q. Um, and so this is interesting uh, because it's got the same quality leather and the stitching combinations. This one is um, rawhide leather with orange stitching. So the color name is rawhide orange, but it's the cube that has, it has ins an insert here. And this is also removable. And um, which at first I was like, why do you want to remove it? And then I thought, oh, to clean it out because things get you know dusty and whatnot so i thought that was pretty cool um but i love this because i can just put all of my pins in here that i want access to and have them right there on my desk so i can just reach over and grab whichever one i want um in the moment and i don't have to worry that i've got pins laying everywhere that i might you know knock off or or you know otherwise hurt <laughs> Um, so I think this is really a cool addition. Okay, and normally I wouldn't pick this up or anything, really, once the pins are in it, but so you can see, like, it's a four-sided, I shouldn't have filled it with pins before I showed you everything, but, so the four grid design is in the McDonald's four sides, um, and the top has the, you know, insert that creates 16 spots for your pins. I really like it. And the bottom, I'm not going to flip it upside down. That would be too dangerous. Um, but the bottom does just have like a um, a typical felt material that matches, um, yep, matches in color. <laughs> um, just that it's easy to slide around on your desk if you need to. Um, so I'll leave that there while um, I show you the last thing. Okay, so we have already carried some Deep Charles Designs products. Um, you've seen the single pin sleeves. Um, we love how they're just so solid and they'll just, your pin just stays in there. Um, or they also have the double pin sleeves. Um, and they have the logo and the stitching and the interior um, lining that is in coordinating but contrasting patterns and colors. Um, so we've had those for a while. I don't know why I thought they need to really get those out right then. I don't need them. I'm just going to have to find a spot for them over here. And we also have their uh, notebook covers. Again, love them. And these are uh, typical field note size 
uh, small notebook covers. We also have this little handy dandy. This is the pen wipe, the D. Charles Designs pen wipe. Um, sometimes I call it the pen wipe wallet, but I believe it's just called pen wipes. Uh, it has their logo down the bottom. Again, the leather and the stitching uh, has an easy snap closure. Um, and then this for 2021, it's to clean your, your pens and inks. So mostly, usually I use it when I'm inking a pen or when I'm doing ink reviews or testing inks um, so that I can just minimize the amount of ink that ends up on my hands. I didn't use it today, sadly. Um, so that I can minimize, minimize the amount of ink that ends up on my hands or on my desk or uh, on the paper that I didn't want there. You know, you know. But uh, you just can, it's safe to use for fountain pen nibs. This is a really soft leather, uh, I forgot how, to, I'm always reading this word. It's C-H-A-M-O-I-S, chamoy, chamoy, I can't remember how to say it, sadly, so sorry. But it's safe to run your nib across once it's uh, got ink on it. So these are really handy because it helps me. And I love that it, I forgot the best part. So I love that it closes up. So I don't now have an inky, messy something sitting on my desk. Um, and also I love that you can just reuse them. They're inky, but it's just for ink. So I keep reusing them. And sometimes I do keep one around that I don't get all inky because I want to use it to like uh, clean my, you know, dust off slash wipe off my pens. Um, just because it's, it's a, a handy little soft cloth I can use for that. Um, but this year they introduced the refillable pen wipe. So the insert, if you just, they uh, assured us that, and we haven't had a problem with it, um, that you can just keep reusing it because the ink gets on the pages and it looks inky, but you can just keep using it to uh, continue to absorb more ink. Um, so it looks messy, but it's still usable for a really long time. We haven't had a problem having to replace any yet. But if you don't like the look of it, or if you do use it so much that you need to replace it, they made these um, refillable. So you can just remove the insert, two easy snaps, and then um, we have a listing for the pen wipe refill inserts. And this one, you want to make sure to get the right color. I just wanted to point that out. So this pen wipe is the Olive Always because it's got the Olive Leather and the Olive Stitching. So I made sure to get the Olive Always pen wipe, and I'll show you why. You'd think it doesn't matter, but it does because they're secured by this strip of leather. So this is the olive leather with the olive stitching. So if you don't care if that matches, it doesn't matter which one you order, but if you want it to match your pin kit, your pin wipe, then you want to get that exact one. And there you go. So that would be how you would replace your pin wipe. And then it's brand new. Okay, so that is a pretty thorough introduction and reintroduction to the D. Charles Designs products. So if you still have questions, you can feel free to ask us, but we just wanted to make sure you had all the information. So enjoy. Find it all at pinchlay.com.